Please reach out to somebody else. Through Facebook or YouTube. Let them be part of our celebration service this month. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to read the opening scripture. My soul magnifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has done mighty things for me and holy is his name. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the humble. From now to generations will call me blessed. Cornerstone from now generation we call us blessed in Jesus name Amen Hallelujah, let's bow for a word of prayer our Father and our God, in the name of Jesus, we come before your throne of grace and mercy. How privileged we are today, God, that we are those that you have called blessed, O God. We are those that you are saying our generation is called blessed. We are, we are in your presence, oh God. And we have come to worship you. We have come to bless you. We have come to exalt your name. We have come to enhance our friendship with you, Lord. We have come to render our worship and our sacrifice unto you. Oh God, we pray that in this next few moments, oh God, you shall receive our sacrifice, oh God, but we shall rise to you, Jehovah God, as a sweet fragrance, oh God, like we sang, oh God, let our worship turn to you, Jehovah God, as a fire, Lord, as a weapon, O oh God. Father, I pray for myself. And I pray for my sisters and my brothers. Be my present and also watching online. That our lives are due to be transformed forever. Because we have come to meet with our God. Thank you because sick will be healed, O oh God. Thank you because the Lord shall find the same Asante kwa sababu aliyopotea watapata neema kutoka kwako. Asante kwa sababu aliyokuwa amesongwa na mawazo watakuwa sawa. Asante kwa sababu tunapata utambulisho mpya kutoka kwako. Katika jina la Yesu. Tunaomba ya kwamba kila jangwa. Kila magonjwa. My father is Watered by the rain of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, come. Oh, we are hungry for you. Come and do something new in our ministry. Oh, we worship you, our Father. We bless you, our King. We glorify the Lord. And it is in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Somebody say amen and keep the Lord on my Amen. Father, we glorify you. We exalt you, God. There is no one else like you, Jesus. We worship you, God. We worship you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord. Yes. Yes. There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a in the atmosphere come and lay down the 
departed, you have come for in this sanctuary. Oh, there is a sweet, there is a sweet. Break the old, leave the heavy part. 
Hakuna kama wewe mfande Baba tunasema ni wewe tu Hakuna wakufananishwa na wewe bwana Hakuna mwingine kama wewe Jehova Jire Tunakupenda mfande wa wafande Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes Lord Yes, 
Yes, Lord, we are going to say, 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 We are going I'm no longer, I'm no longer a slave to fear. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. Yes, we are no longer slaves. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Child of God, you unravel me, you unravel me with a melody, with a melody. Jesus, you surround, you surround me with a song. Oh, deliver us, oh, deliver us from my enemy, from my enemy. You unravel me, you unravel me with a melody, melody, with a melody. You surround, you surround me with a song, oh, oh deliverance from my enemy, from my enemy.
Mungu amekupigania vita vya Mungu. The Lord has gone before you. Kwamba Mungu ameenda mbele yako. You are no longer under the intimidation of the devil. Na huko pale umefinyika kwa mtawala shetani. He has surrounded you with a soul. Unachoka na kuzikiri na wimbo. You know that you are on the DNA and the blood of Jesus. Wewe unajua kwamba wewe ni wa damu ya Yesu. Give it up for the Lord one more time. Pigie bwana Yesu kwa I want us to do the next thing which is to pray for our children. Please our children and the teachers and the instructors let's just pray for you. We are standing as we are praying for you. As we are praying for you. Our Father and our God in the name of Jesus. Once more, what a privilege, oh God. That you not only came, but we brought our children. The fruit of our womb, oh God. That you declare is blessed, oh God. The first, the second, the third generation, and then we renew, oh God. Of, of the children of our womb, oh God. They are blessed, oh Jehovah. God. And this morning, before we release them to go to their classes, Lord, we pray a very special blessing upon them. We release a very special grace upon them. Jehovah. These ones have the DNA of Jesus. Christ. My Father, they shall never fall. They shall not falter. They shall not be confused. By ideas. Theologies and ideas of man because they have grounded the word of the Lord in their hearts oh God. we decree and declare that these ones of oh God even when they grow they shall never depart from your truth we pray for not only these ones of oh God but for others that are represented here some of them are in boarding schools some of them are in colleges oh God some of them are abroad, oh God. But they are our children, oh God. We declare the blessings of God upon them. The blessings of Abraham. The blessings of Jacob. The blessings of Isaac upon them. God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for an anointing of God. An anointing of God. A tangible presence. 
presence of God in the classes that they go to attend now. We pray the grace of God upon the teachers and the instructors, oh dear Father. And we pray that there shall be a contact of God between these children and their parents and guardians so that if anybody does not know the Lord by the reason of the connection by this great army they shall come to know the Lord. Father, we thank you and we bless you as now we release them to go to their classes in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the church said a great amen. 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 Hallelujah. Children, you are released to go to your classes. God bless you. I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that it open all of heaven. Brother, it could happen in day When God's people humble themselves and call on Jesus And they look to have an expert as they pray for praise and worship team who, sac who sacrifices much of their time to come and do a lot of practice so that today they can be able to bless us as they bless the Lord. Um, greet you physically here and those who are online and welcome you again into this service for National Faith Assembly Church where we say grace and love abide. Um, my name is Pastor Amos Mwangi. Love the Lord Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. I love the Lord. Now, I'm um, just here to come and introduce a speaker who is going to come after a special number has been done by the present worship. Um, uh, Minister Ben Okoth. Um, ben Okoth. Is one of us here at Cornerstone Faith Assembly. Ni moja wetu hapa Cornerstone Faith Assembly. And has spoken to us many times. Na meongea nasi kwa muda mwingi. And God has blessed us every time that he has spoken. Na buwana metubariki mala anapongeo. So after the praise and worship team has has given us a, a, a number, a special number. Baada kikundu kutuatia wimbo specially. Expect to see Minister Ben O'Koth coming to speak the word of God to us. And God will bless you. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. Oh, 
viwango vingine naenda viwango vingine naenda viwango vingine naenda viwango naenda viwango vingine utukufu utukufu wewe utukufu hi sio ndoto yangu hi sio ndoto yangu ndoto Sio ndoto yangu mimi naenda viwango vingine Kama unakubaliana nasi ya kwamba si ndoto yako Yes Unesa simama chuo Yes Ukadeklea kwamba si ndoto yako Hallelujah Enaenda naenda viwango vingine naenda viwango naenda viwango vingine naenda naenda viwango vingine utukufu utukufu wewe utukufu naenda naenda viwango vingine naenda viwango naenda viwango vingine mahali nimetoka mahali ninakwenda hapa napita tu hi sio ndoto yangu naenda viwango vingine naenda naenda viwango vingine naenda naenda viwango vingine mimi nina Utukufu Enaenda Viwango vingine Naenda Viwango vingine Mimi naenda Viwango vingine Utukufu Utukufu Wana biashara mdogo mdogo Hii Sio ndoto yangu Toto yangu ni kumiliki Biashara kubwa kima taifa Naenda Biwango vingine Naenda Naenda Biwango vingine Naenda Naenda Biwango vingine Unaenda Naenda Biwango vingine He utukufu Kuitwa mwimbaji mdogo mdogo Sio ndoto yangu Ndoto yangu ni kuitwa mwimbaji mkubwa uliyesu Naenda viwango vingine Naenda Naenda viwango vingine Naenda Naenda Miwango vingine Naenda Naenda Miwango vingine Utukufu Tikila itsei Naenda Naenda Miwango vingine Naenda Naenda Miwango vingine Naenda 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 Miwango vingine Naenda, 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 naenda
viwango vingine enda 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 viwango vingine utukufu utukufu wenda viwango vingine tunapotiza tuende Wapi shangwa na vigelegele kwa Yesu Naenda Naenda Viwango vigine Naenda Naenda Viwango vigine Naenda mimi Naenda Viwango vigine Utukufu Utukufu Wena utukufu As long as we are in you, oh God. Thank you because you are taking us from one level. One level to another level. One level of glory to another. We refuse to stagnate in life. We will not stay at the same place forever. A time has come for us, oh God. For you to lift us up to another level. Thank you for resurrecting our dreams. We have great dreams in our God. And in you, oh God. And by the power of your Holy Spirit, we will be able to rise up, oh God, from the ashes, to rise up, oh God, from discouragement, to rise up, oh God, from defeat, and to go to another level. Church, if you believe it, proclaim it today. I'm going to the next level in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can have your seats in the presence of your father. Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Good morning once more. Amen. I, I give the God thanks for this opportunity to stand here and to minister the word. I've already been, been introduced by Pastor Amos. Yeah, so please allow me to just uh, introduce my interpreter. Kelin Kabanyenya Kisembo. All the way from the Repu People's Republic of Uganda. Yes, she got a one way ticket to Kenya. That means there's no going back. Amen. Let's appreciate Kelin. Amen. Thank you so much, Kelin, for the work that you're doing. I also appreciate our choir who has led us so much. So well. Let's appreciate them. The May the Lord remember you in your time of need. Amen. I want to give thanks to God for this opportunity. Yes. That we may listen to him through me as a vessel. And I also thank my spiritual father. Bishop Dr. Francis M. Kamau. We know that the mind of God is tuned. 
Yeah, he is tuned. He is very much tuned in to, to today's service. Yuko hapa katika ibada hii yetu ya leo. We thank God for you man of God. Tunakushukuru sana eh mtu wa Mungu. And we appreciate your family as well. Na pia tunapongeza familia yako pia. Because the, of the great role that they play. Kwa sababu ya jambo kubwa sana ambalo wanafanya. To help you to serve God's people. Kuweza kukusaidia wewe kuwahudumia watu wa Mungu. So Mam Ruth, we appreciate you together with Stephanie and Simon. Kwa hivyo Mama Ruth tunakupongeza wewe pamoja na Stephanie na pia Simon. Amen. Also uh, thank uh, the leadership of Cornerstone, all the pastors, the ministers, the ushers, every other person who does anything in the house of God. Pia tunapongeza viongozi wote na yeyote yule ambaye anafanya kitu hapa katika nyumba ya Bwana. May the Lord bless you. Mungu na awabariki. And you is seated here in the sanctuary. Na wewe ambaye umeketi hapa katika kanisa. Together with our online church. Pamoja na kanisa letu la mtandao. You are a great treasure. Wewe ni wa maana sana. We love you as well. Tunakupenda pia. Amen. Amen. Now please allow us to get into the word. Tuweze kuingia katika neno sasa. Because of time. Kwa sababu ya muda. I'm going to share on a topic I have entitled. Tutashiriki katika ujumbe ambao nimempa mada. I, I just had as I was preparing for this message. Nilipokuwa nikijitarisha kwa sababu ya ujumbe huu. I had the spirit of God drop it in my heart. Nilisikia roho wa Mungu akiweka katika moyo wangu. And this is what he said. Na anasema hivi. Light dispels darkness. Mwanga unaweza kufunika giza. Kufukuza. Kufukuza naam. Light dispels darkness. Mwanga unafukuza giza. And it also attracts flies. Lakini pia inavutia flies. Nzi. Nzi. Okay. Yes, and I wanna uh, I'm going to give an illustration. Na nitaweza kuwapa jambo moja. But before we get to the illustration, we are reading from the book of Acts. Lakini kabla tufikie hapo, ningependa kuambia kwamba tunasoma katika kitabu cha Matendo ya Mitume. Chapter number 6. Mlango wa 6. From verse 8 to 15. Mstari wa 8 hadi 15. Then we are going to wind, uh, to, to conclude our reading with the book of Revelation. Kisha tutamalizia somo letu na kitabu cha Chapter 20, Revelation. Revelation um, mlango wa 20 ufunuo mlango wa 20 verse 12 to 13 mstari wa 12 hadi 13 yes it's already on the screen tayari liko pale so in honor of the word of god i ask you to kindly be upstanding kwa hivyo ningewaomba mweze kusimama and if you have a mouth na kama una mdomo if you have eyes that can see kama una macho ambayo anaweza kuona please read this out loudly together with me tafadhali soma haya kwa nguvu pamoja nami it is important to proclaim the word of god through your lips ni vizuri kukiri neno la mungu kupitia kwa kinywa chako yes so le let us read together kwa hivyo tusome kwa pamoja now stephen a man full of god's, god's grace, grace and, and power performed, performed great, great wonders, wonders and signs among, signs among the people, people. opposition arose However, from members of the synagogue of the freedmen, as it was called, Jews of Cyrene and Alexandria, as well as the provinces of Cilicia and Asia, who began to argue with Stephen. But they could not stand up against the wisdom the Spirit gave him as he spoke. Then they secretly persuaded some men to say, we, we have, have heard Stephen speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. So they stirred up the people and the elders and the teachers of the law. They seized Stephen and brought him before the Sanhedrin. They produced false witnesses who testified, This fellow never stopped speaking against this holy place and against the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs Moses handed down to us. All who were sitting in the Sanhedrin looked intently at Stephen, and they saw that his face was like the face of an angel. Revelation chapter 20. Mlango wa 20 verse 12 to 13 Mstari wa 12 hadi 13 Yes uh, we are sharing and I hope yeah this is already there Let's read if you can see it Tusome kama uweza kuona And I, I saw, saw the dead, dead great and small standing before the throne and books were opened, opened. Another, Another book was opened which is the book of life The dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books Amen the sea gave up the dead that were in it, and death and hate gave up the dead that were in them, and each person was judged according to what they had done. 
May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Na Mungu abariki kusoma kwa neno lake. And Father, we thank you today. Baba, tunakushukuru siku ya leo. That it is given unto us, O God. Ambayo imetupa kwetu sisi. To understand the mysteries of the kingdom of God. Kuweza kuelewa yale mambo ya ufalme wa Bibi. So Lord, as we share your word today. Tunaposhiriki neno lako siku ya leo. We pray that you may open our hearts and our minds, O God. Tunaomba kwamba ukaweze kufungua mioyo yetu na pia akili zetu. Give us understanding of your word. Tupe kuelewa kwa neno lako. That we may be instructed therein, O God. Ndiposa tuweze kuelekezwa ndani. That we may take heed O God, na pia tuweze kushikilia maana kuweza kuishi kulingana na mapenzi yako and that as Stephen lived a victorious life O God jinsi ambavyo Stephen aliishi maisha yenye ushindi that it will be written in the books of our record O God itaandikwa katika kitabu chetu that we please to during the days of our lives ya kwamba tuweza kufurahisha wakati wetu wa kuishi we pray this believing and trust tunaomba haya tukiamini in the name of your dear son Jesus Christ kupitia kwa jina la mwanao Yesu Kristo amen amen hallelujah Good afternoon once more. Habari ya mchana kwa mara nyingine tena. Yes, now we want to share the word of God briefly. Tutataka kushiriki neno la Mungu kwa ufupi. With the remaining few minutes. Kupitia kwa muda mchache ambao tumebaki nao. And I believe that your heart is ready. Na naamini ya kwamba moyo wako uko tayari. Light dispels darkness. Mwanga unafukuza giza. And it also attracts flies. Na pia unavutia nzi. I don't know whether you have seen if you have been observant. Sijui kama umekuwa ukitazama vizuri. When you are in darkness. Unapokuwa kwenye giza. And you light up uh, you perhaps you put or you switch on a bulb na pale uweze kuwasha stima yako darkness will disappear a giza tayari itaondoka pale the light that you switch on ule mwanga ambao wewe unafungua will dispel the, the, the darkness that is in the room utaweza kuondoa giza ambao uko pale katika chumba chako but as even as it does so lakini pia kifanya hivyo when as time goes by wakati ukiweza kuenenda you will be able to see utaweza kuona that the, that, that the same light that dispelled darkness ya kwamba mwanga huo huo ambao unafukuza bari giza is also attracting flies pia inavutia nzi uh, there's, there's an illustration i had prepared i hope it is ready kuna jambo ambalo nilikuwa nimetayarisha natumia kwamba liko tayari There is a lamp that we used uh, uh, in the ancient of days Kuna taa ambazo tulitumia nyakati za awali When many of you are not yet born Wakati ambao wengi kama sisi hatukuwa tumezaliwa People like Paris I don't know whether you were born then Sijui kama ulikuwa umezaliwa wakati huo But for your information Lakini kwa ujumbe wako We used uh, the, the, those days Nyakati hizo Before Kenya power kabla Kenya Power was able to reach to many many places in this nation. Niweze kufikia sehemu nyingi katika nchi hii. This in front of you. Hapa mbele yako. Is what used to save the day. Ndio ambayo tulikuwa tunatumia. Perhaps Saranjoki was not born. Pengine Sara hakuepo. I don't know. Mimi sijui. And I'm very sure. Na nina hakika. Kelin might be seeing it for the first time. Hapana nimetumia mimi. Really? <laughs> But but you know the, the other funny thing with this lamp it was so expensive that in an entire village you could only find that it was only in one home or two ilikuwa inapatikana tu kwa nyumba moja au mbili so when the, the, when need arose kwa hivyo kama kungekuwa na hitaji then somebody would be sent to walk perhaps some kilometers away mtu angetumwa kwenda kilomita chache to go and borrow kwenda kuomba this precious lamp tahi and when it was brought at night na ilipoletwa usiku and 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 and, and, and when it was lit na ikaashwa pale then it would begin and, and i'm telling you putting i mean lighting this this lantern was not easy kuwasha taa hii haikuwa ni jambo rahisi it required special skill ilihitaji uwe na ujuzi maalum and whenever it was lit na kama kila tu ilipoashwa one thing that was sure jambo la kwanza ambalo ilikuwa ni hakika that it was going to send away darkness ya kwamba ingeweza kufukuza giza at the same time na wakati huo huo you would be able to see ungeweza kuona that as it was lit as it was put on ilipokuwa ikiwashwa then it would begin to attract flies all over ingeweza kuvutia nzi this is the life hii ni katika maisha that it can be compared to the life of a christian inaweza kulinganishwa na maisha ya mkristo jesus said yes, alisema, that you and i ya kwamba wewe na mimi we are the light of the world sisi ni mwanga wa dunia you, you know when you are in darkness je wajua kama uko katika giza and you put on na uweze kuweka mwanga a lamp ta you switch it on uweze kufungua ta and you are in deep darkness na uko katika giza then darkness will go 
But as it goes, in comes flies. That tells us that even as we allow God, we, we allow the light of Christ to shine in us. It is not going to be all joy riding. It, that light in you that Christ has put in you, as long as it drives away darkness, it will attract certain things that are not attractive, that are not pleasant at all. As we have read today about Stephen, the man of God, the Bible says that he was a man that was full of grace and of the Holy Spirit. I don't know if, uh, if the same can be said about you. That you are a man or a woman of God who is not just speaking in tongues, who, who does not just go to come to church on Sunday, but you are, you are, you are a man or a servant of God who is full of grace and full of the Spirit. There is always room to, for us to give to the Holy Holy Spirit, which is that room that you have not surrendered to the Holy Spirit. It is one thing to be saved. It is another thing for you to let the Holy Spirit to fill you up so that when you walk, you are walking full of the Holy Ghost. I pray that it will one day be written about you that you are a man or a woman of God who was full of the Holy Spirit and full of grace. We have so many people in the church today who are full of themselves. They have not given the Holy Spirit an opportunity in their lives. The Lord Jesus Christ said that let your light shine so bright that men will see and they will give glory to God. I want us to look again at the book of Acts chapter 6 where we read. What does verse 8 say? I'm waiting for it on the projector so that we can read it together. If it's not ready, I'll, I'll read directly from the, from the Bible. And this is what it says. That now Stephen, a man full of God's grace yep. and power, he did great and miraculous signs among the people. How many Christians today are full of God's grace and power? How many are doing great wonders and miracles as it is written about Stephen? Remember, Stephen was not among the 12 disciples. He came to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ later. Just as you and me have come to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, there are those who have gone ahead of us. But if we surrender fully to God, then we can be sure that he will use us. He will fill us with his grace. I don't know if this is your desire. That you can be full of the grace of God with the Holy Spirit and with power. God is waiting for our people who will surrender to him so that he can use them to this display the full extent of the power of God. And that is what Stephen did. He surrendered to God. And God used him to do great and mighty miracles and wonders. We are not any different from Stephen. We are still in the, in the same boat. And if we give ourselves fully to God, he can use us. What does verse 9 say? Of, of the same text that we have read. It says that opposition arose. Yes, remember Kumbuka. Stephen Stefano. was being used by God. He was mungu. doing great miracles, signs and wonders, but opposition arose against him. As a kwenye. child of God, any time you fully give up yourself, you immerse yourself fully in God. You, you, you want to, to I mean, separate yourself from the world. One thing you need to be sure about is that opposition 
opposition will arise. Ni kwamba mapinduzi lazima yatainuka. There are forces yatainuka. that are not happy. Kuna watu ambao hawafurahishi. When you give yourself to to serve God fully. Ukijiachilia kumtumikia Mungu kikamilifu. When you are faithful to God. Ukiwa mwaminifu kwa Mungu. And you decide to separate yourself from the world. Na uamue kujitofautisha kutoka na dunia. Stephen. Stefano. Went through a very tough time in his life. Alipitia wakati mgumu sana katika maisha yake. Opposition arose against him. Mapinduzi yaliweza kuinuka kinyume chake. When you trust God. Ukiweza kumwamini Mungu. When you want to be separate. Ukitaka kutofautisha. To, to, to be different from the other people that are around you. Ukitaka kuwa tofauti na wale ambao wako karibu nawe. Perhaps your peers. Pengine watu ambao mko katika umri mmoja. Watu wenye umri mmoja na wewe. The people you are working with. Ama watu ambao unafanya kazi na wao. Then one thing is for sure. Lakini jambo moja ni lazima. Opposition will arise. Mapinduzi lazima yainuke. Opposition arose against Stephen. Mapinduzi yalinuka dhidi yake Stefano. And perhaps we are speaking to somebody today. Na pengine tunamnenia mtu siku ya leo. That you are facing opposition in life. Unapitia mapinduzi katika maisha yako. Not because you have rebelled against God. Si kwa sababu umemkana Mungu. Not because you are not doing what is expected of you. Si kwa sababu ufanye kile ambacho unahitaji kufanya. Just because you have decided. Lakini kwa sababu umeamua. That you will walk in the light. Ya kwamba utatembea katika mwanga. But you do not want to do the very same things that the people in the world are doing. Au ufanye kitu ambacho watu wa dunia wanafanya. Opposition will arise. Mapinduzi yatainuka. And sometimes when opposition arises. Na wakati mwingine mapinduzi yakinuka. It arises it comes from quarters that are least expected. Inatoka katika mahali ambapo hatutarajii. Sometimes it comes from the people. Wakati mwingine inatoka katika watu. Who you who you expect to be supporting you. Ambao unahitaji wa kuona kuhimiza. Opposition arose against Stephen. Mapinduzi yalinuka dhidi ya Stefano. From the members of the synagogue. Kutoka kwa watu wa sinagogi. Of the freed men. Ya watu ambao walikuwa wameachiliwa. These were people who looked like they they were practicing godliness hawani watu ambao walikaka na kwamba wanafanya uongo but inside of them lakini ndani yao something was amiss kuna kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinaenda sawa don't think that opposition against you when you are serving god usidhania kama mapinduzi dhidi yako unapomtumikia mungu come from far itatoka mbali most of the times wakati mwingi it will arise itaweza kuinuka from the people that you you, you, you interact with on a day to day basis kutoka kwa watu ambao unahusiana nao kila siku just because you are serving god kwa sababu tu unamtumikia mungu does not mean that it will all be smooth sailing. Haimaanishia kwamba utakuwa tu ni mtiririko mzuri. Trouble will come. Lazima shida ije. God will allow tests to come your way. Mungu ataruhusu majaribu yawe. Not because you have sinned. Si kwa sababu umetenda dhambi. But because sometimes. Lakini kwa sababu wakati mwingine. He wants to test your heart. Anataka kupima roho yako. And sometimes. Na wakati mwingine. It is because he wants to show his power. Anataka kuonyesha nguvu zake. To the world. Kwa dunia. Serving God. Kumtumikia Mungu. Does not mean Haimanishi. that we will not suffer. Ya kwamba hautaweza kutabika. We need to be psychologically prepared. Ni lazima tuwe tayari. That when we serve God. Ya kwamba tukimtumikia Mungu. That when we allow our light to shine. Tukiruhusu mwanga wetu uweze kung'aa. Then that light like uo mwanga and as much as it drives away darkness. Hata kama linaweza kuondoa giza. If there are things that will have to go kuna mambo ambayo lazima yaende. But as some things goes away. Lakini wakati ambapo mambo mengine yanakwenda. And sometimes you pray for the sick they get healed. Wakati mwingine unaombea wagonjwa wanapona. So you stand in the gap for your family. Unaweza kuombea pia familia and yako. And God remembers them. Na Mungu anawakumbuka. That very same light that you are using. Mwanga huo huo ambao unatumia. It is the same light. Ni mwanga ule ule tu. That will attract flies. Ambayo yataweza kuvutia nzi. You have nzi. seen it from the illustration that we gave. Umeweza kuona kupitia kwa kile ambacho tumeonyesha pale. That when you are in deep darkness. Ya kwamba ukiwa katika giza. You light up the lamp utaweza kuangaza mwanga darkness goes mwanga unaondoka but in comes flies lakini nzi wanakuja and when flies come na nzi wakija sometimes they patch on the bulb wakati mwingine wanashikilia pale bulb but how many know lakini wangapi wetu tunajua that, that that flies can come ya kwamba nzi wanaweza kuja and they come, they can find some parking they can make their parking lot on the bulb na kisha waweze kujikusanyisha pale but as time goes by lakini wakati unaposonga the bulb beca- begins to warm up ma bulb ile inaweza kuwa moto zaidi it becomes hot inaweza kuwa moto zaidi and the flies nanzi wale will have no option hawatakuwa na jambo jingine la kufanya but when the fly away lakini kuondoka pale or drop dead ama kuanguka wakifa do not let your light usiwache mwanga wako go because of opposition uondoke kwa sababu ya mapinduzi let your light usiwache mwanga wako let it shine brightly wacha ungae kabisa it shines inapongaa it becomes hot inakuwa moto and the hotter it becomes na jinsi inavyokuwa moto zaidi the more it becomes impossible inakuwa vigumu sana for unwanted things kwa mambo ambayo haitajiki to cling to you kuweza kuninginia kwako you, you know i've never seen a light that has been been put switched on 
Sijaona mwanga ambao umewashwa pale. And then it decides to go off. Kisha ilikamua kuzima. Just because unwanted flies came and patched on it. Kwa sababu unzi waliweza kuja na kuninginia pale. As a Christian. Kama Mkristo. Even when opposition comes your way. Hata mapinduzi yakija. Even when the wrong things come to you because of believing in Christ. Hata mambo mabaya yakija kwako kwa sababu ya kumwamini Kristo. Don't lose hope. Usikate tamaa. Stephen the servant of God. Stefano mtumishi wa Mungu. He did not lose hope. Hakukata tamaa. Because there are people kwa sababu kuna watu who rose against him. Ambao walinuka kinyume chake. Kept the faith. Aliweza kuweka imani yake juu. In the midst of opposition. Katikati ya mapinduzi. When things are not working the way you expect them. Wakati ambapo mambo hayaendi jinsi ambavyo unatarajia. You have checked your life. Unabadilisha maisha yako. And you see that truly. Na unaona ya kwamba kabisa. It is not because you are disobedient to God. Si kwa sababu wewe haumtii Mungu. Continue. Endelea. Being obedient to God. Kuwa mtiifu kwa Continue Mungu. Continue letting your light to shine. Endelea kuacha mwanga wako umai. In that company. Katika kampuni hiyo. In that area of business. Katika biashara hiyo. And you know before you interact with people out here. Na ninajua kabla uweze kuunganika na watu hapa nje. You can never know the true colors of people. Uwezi kujua watu. When I wait until Wacha hadi pale. Something involves you with people. Mambo ambayo yanakuhusisha na watu. And sometimes even those who call themselves Christians. Na wengine hata wanaojiita wa Kristo. That is when you will know the true colors of people. Hapo ndio utaona jinsi watu walivyokamilifu. Lakini hata kama the opposition rises against you. Mapinduzi yanakuja dhidi yako. The disappointments that comes against you. Mambo ambayo yanakuja kinyume chako. May come uh, I mean come, may come through fellow Christians. Yanaweza kuja kupitia kwa Wakristo wenzako. Don't give up on God. Usiweze kupoteza matumaini kwa Mungu. Stephen's story is being read today. Hadithi ya Stefano inasomwa siku ya leo. It is great. Ni kuu sana. It is encouraging. Ni ya kutuhimiza. Because in the midst of the trouble. Kwa sababu katikati ya kutabika. He did not lose hope. Hakuweza kukata tamaa. How many Christians, Christo, when we go through a small kind of trouble, kidogo, we throw our hands in the air mikono, and we say tunasema, that after all, kama, God has forgotten me. There is nothing good in serving God and mungu. going through this kind of trouble. Na People hii. of God, Watu wa mungu. beloved of the Lord, Watu wa wa mungu. don't lose heart. Usiweze kukata trouble may come, Taabu kuja. but as Stephen held in God held his, his faith in God Lakini jinsi ambavyo Stefano aliweka imani yake kwa Mungu Don't lose hope Usipoteze matumaini Trouble may come Taabu yaweza kuja But if you continue Lakini ukiendelea Despite the opposition Hata kama kuna mapinduzi One thing is sure Jambo moja ambalo ni hakika God is faithful Ya kwamba Mungu ni mwaminifu The same God who so Stephen the servant of God through Wale Mungu ambaye alimweza kumkomboa Stefano He will see you through Pia wewe ataweza kukukomboa I want us to look at verse number 10 Nataka tuangalie mstari wa 10 What happened to Stephen Nini kilifanyika kwa Stefano As the Bible records is in verse number 10 Jinsi ambavyo Biblia inasema katika mstari wa 10 Let's read it together if you can Tuweze kusoma pamoja kama waweza But they could not stand up against, against the wisdom the spirit gave him as he spoke so the, there are people who rose against Stephen the servant of God Kuna watu ambao walisimama kinyume cha Stefano mtumishi wa Mungu But the Bible says Lakini Biblia inasema that they could not stand Hawangeweza kusimama against the wisdom kinyume cha hekima that the spirit gave Stephen Ambayo roho wa Mungu alimpa Stefano I pray for you today Ninakuombea siku ya leo That whatever you are going through Ya kwamba kile ambacho unapitia May God grant you this kind of wisdom Mungu akupe hekima kama hii So that you can you can be able Ndipo saweze to withstand the opposition that comes your way Kusimama kinyume na mapinduzi ambayo yanakuja njiani mwako It is the wisdom of the spirit Ni hekima ya Roho Mtakatifu That helped Stephen Ambayo iliweza kumsaidia Stefano to stand in the midst of position. Kusimama katikati ya mapinduzi. He did not give up. Hakuweza kukata tamaa. Because he trusted in his God. Kwa sababu alimwamini Mungu wake. He the spirit of the living God. Yule roho wa Mungu. He will give you whatever it takes. Atakupa kile ambacho unahitaji. So that you can stand in the midst of opposition. Ndipo saweze kusimama katikati ya mapinduzi. Even in your place of work. Hata mahali papo pa kazi. Sometimes opposition comes. Wakati mwingine mapinduzi yanakuja. Sometimes people can lie against you. Wakati mwingine watu wanaweza kudanganya kinyume chako. As they, uh, they, they, they they brought a group of people wanaweza kuleta kikundi cha watu who lied against Stephen ambao waliweza kudanganya kinyume cha Stefano they were false witnesses walikuwa ni mashahidi wa uongo they witnessed falsely against Stephen the man of God walishuhudia uongo dhidi ya Stefano i don't know perhaps you have gone through times pengine umepitia wakati where you have not only been betrayed ambao si tu umeweza ku 
kusalitiwa. But false charges have been trumped up against you. Lakini ushahidi mbaya umeweza kuwekwa kinyume chako. Just because of your faith in Christ. Kwa sababu tu ya imani yako kwa Mungu. It happened to Stephen. Ilimfanyikia Stefano. And it can still happen to us today. Na pia inaweza kutufanyikia sisi leo hii. But in the midst of opposition. Lakini katikati ya mapinduzi. Even if false says rise up against you. Hata kama mashahidi wa ongo watainuka kinyume chako. Child of God do not give up. Wewe mwana wa Mungu usikate tamaa. Do not lose hope. Usikate tamaa. Hold on to God. Shikilia Mungu. As Stephen held up uh, held on to God. Jinsi ambavyo Stefano alimshikilia Mungu. They may lie against you. Wataweza kutoa ushahidi wa ongo. False witnesses may rise against you. Mashahidi wa ongo watainuka kinyume chako. But as long as you stick with God. Lakini ukiweza kumshikilia Mungu. You will emerge victorious. Utaweza kutoka na ushindi. You will come back with a testimony. Utakuja na ushuhuda. You cannot come back with a testimony. Hauwezi kurudi tena ushuhuda. If God allows a test to come your way. Kama Mungu amekubali majaribu yaje Then you give up in the middle of the test. Kisha uweze kukata tamaa katikati ya majaribu. Make up your mind. Uweze kuweka akili yako tamaa. Like Stephen made up his mind. Jinsi ambavyo Stefano alifanya. That no matter what came his way. Hata kama majaribu yalikuwa yanjaribu yake. He was going to hold on to God. Lazima angeweza kumshikilia Mungu. If in if a position comes your way. Kama mapinduzi yatakuja njiani mwako. Learn from Stephen. Uweze kujifunza kutokana na Stefano. Hold on to God. Mshikilie Mungu. Do not just compromise. Usituingililie kati. Because everybody else. Kwa sababu kila mtu is compromising anaweza kuenda njia hiyo do not go, go do, do things against the will of god usifanye mambo yaliyo kinyume na mapenzi ya mungu just because a servant of god kwa sababu mtumishi wa mungu whom you are looking up to ambaye ulikuwa unamtazamia failed you aliweza kukuangusha because he sinned or she sinned kwa sababu alifanya dhambi is not a ticket for you to sin against god sio ruhusa kwako wewe kuweza kutenda dhambi kinyume cha mungu salvation is personal wokovu ni mambo ya kibinafsi your relationship with god is personal usiano wako na mungu ni wa kibinafsi do not be influenced negatively usiweze ku kuwa do not be influenced negatively by other people usiweze kuenenda kama watu wengine by what they do kwa kile ambacho wanafanya or what they fail to do ama kile ambacho hawakufanya just because a servant of god kwa sababu mtumishi wa mungu fell into sin aliweza kuingia katika dhambi that does not give you the permit hiyo haikupi ruhusa to fall away from god kuweza kuondoka kwa mungu that relationship between you and god uhusiano wako wewe na mungu is, does not include any, any other servant of god hausishi mtu mwingine if they fell kama walianguka it is up to them and god ni kwao wao na mungu to correct things kuweza kufanya mambo sawa but as for you lakini kwako wewe put your eyes on god weka macho yako kwa mungu do not give up usikate tamaa they made all manner of allegations against stephen walitoa ushahidi wote wa uongo dhidi ya stefano but this did not discourage him lakini haya yote hayakuweza kum uh, kumweka chini stefano but some of us lakini wengine wetu just the inability tuko hatuna uwezo just, 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 i mean something negative comes your way jambo mbaya likija njiani kwetu you miss your salary to for one or two months unaweza kukosa mshahara wako mwezi mmoja ama miwili then you begin to lose faith in god kisha unaanza kupoteza imani kwa mungu somebody tells lies against you mtu anatoa uongo dhidi yako and just because of that lakini kwa sababu ya hiyo you just begin to say unaanza kusema ah the way i'm seeing things jinsi ambavyo naona mambo ah, i don't know i don't even think that it is worth believing in this God. You know most of us believers these days. Wajua wengi wetu waumini siku ya leo. We have not gone through that kind of tests and trials that the, the, the people in the past who believed in Christ went through. Hatujapitia majaribu ambayo watu hapo zamani ambao waliamini Mungu walipitia. But why is it that we give up so easily? Lakini ni kwa nini tunakata tamaa haraka sana? We need to keep keep up the faith. Ni lazima tuweze kuweka imani yetu juu. And not to lose hope. Na tusikate tamaa. As we wind up. Tunapomalizia. I want to again read the book of Revelation chapter 20. Ningependa kusoma katika kitabu cha Ufunuo Verse 12 and 13. Mstari wa 12 na 13. It talks about books. Inazungumza kuhusu vitabu. That there are books that will be opened. Ya kwamba kuna vitabu ambavyo vitafunguliwa. And I saw the dead great and small. Nikaona waliokufa wakubwa na wadogo. Standing before the throne. Wakisimama mbele ya kiti cha enzi. And books were opened. Na vitabu vikafunguliwa. Another book was opened. Kitabu kingine kikafunguliwa. Which is the book of life. Ambayo ni kitabu cha uzima. Each one of us. Kila mmoja wetu. As we sit here today. Tunapoketi hapa siku ya leo each one of us as we go through life we need to know that each one of us we have a 
book in heaven. Our records are being written in a book somewhere in heaven. And one day, your book will be opened. One day, my book will be opened. Now the question is, when my book will be opened, when your book will be opened, what will be written about you? About Stephen, the man of God. We have seen that he went through trials. He did not give up. He was lied against. But he did not give up. He was actually stoned to death. When you, when you read chapter 7, you will find out that because of these trumped up charges against him, he was stoned to death. But he did not give up. If that came to any of us today, can we stand in the midst of such challenges and say that no matter what I am going through I will remain a true Christian I will remain a believer the, the Bible says that books were opened and another book was opened which is the book of life the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books. Beloved of the Lord, let us be reminded that God has a book in which is recording the things that we do. And the Bible says that we will be judged according to what we do. Even when trouble comes your way, how do you react? What do you do? Do you give up? Do you compromise? Because anytime you give up and you compromise, it is, it is recorded in your book of life that in the time of test and temptation, you gave up. You compromised. You forsook Christ. But my prayer today is that God may help us that when the books will be opened concerning our lives that we will rejoice together with Stephen that even though trials came we trusted in God and it was written about us that we overcame that we stuck with God even when we were not able to see light even in the darkness we stuck with God. I desire that one day it will be said of you and it will be said of me when the records of God are opened that we stood in the midst of opposition. We stood with God in the midst of trials and that we can be counted that we remained faithful to God. And now as we wind up, I want to pray with somebody. Perhaps you are going through tough time in your life. You have believed in God. You have done whatever you think is godly. You have shunned sin. But trouble has been coming your way. And you know for sure it is not because you are rebelling against God. It could be a test that God has allowed to come your way. You are not the first to be tested. But I pray for you that in the midst of the test that God may raise your faith so that you will not give up. The God who with Stephen. He is still alive and well. And he is with you. And he will see you through. Whatever the challenge you might be going through, don't take shortcuts. Trust in God. And he will do it for you. Father, we pray for anybody today who might be sick in their body, who might be having a loved one who is sick, or anybody today who needs a divine intervention in their circumstance, in their situation, oh God. You are a God who is able to intervene. Intervene for your people today. Bring healing where healing is needed, oh God. 
Bring intervention, my Father. For somebody today, be it in their place of work, in their business, oh God, in their family, my Father. You are well able, dear God. You know the situations and the circumstances of your people. And you are well able, Jehovah God, to intervene, my Father. When our faith is tested, oh God, we pray that you may increase our faith. And that as, as Stephen stood with you, we will stand in faith with you, Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Let's appreciate the Lord. If God has been good to you, give him a hand clap. That which he deserves. In, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And now, before we appreciate the online church, it is another opportunity for us to bless the work of the Lord. Worship is never complete until we give back to God out of that which he has blessed us with. Just look at your life. God has given you free oxygen. You know, these days, oxygen is being sold. And it is very expensive. Sometimes it costs, it costs hundreds of thousands, if not millions, for people to be, some people to be able to breathe. But for you and me, God has been good to us. He has given us what it takes to work and he blesses the works of our hands. Let us not forget to come with something before God and tell, them, tell, tell him, Father, I thank you. I thank you because you have been good to me. So if you want to do so, our Mpesa number is right there on your screen. There are those who will have to use the basha the, the that have been provided. If you need to write a check, you can use our apps up bank account number as it appears on your screen. And may the Lord bless you. Yes, and just right next to your seat there is a card. Uh, kindly fill in your details. Your telephone, uh, your full names and your telephone contacts. And if you came with your children, kindly indicate their names there. Yes, at this moment, I want to call a special attention to, na to an event. A call to worship afternoon that uh, is being hosted by our pastor bishop Dr. Francis M. Kamau. And uh, this worship experience is led by Pastor Isaac Kahora. And a call to worship uh, worshipers. And we are all invited on this coming Sunday, 19th of September. In the afternoon from 2 uh, p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Yes, let us all come and join in and worship the Lord together. And at this moment, I want to uh, appreciate and acknowledge a special group. Our online viewers, it is always a great joy to have you worship and log in uh, to our channels. And I will mention just a few names. And as always, our worship, uh, our, our online viewers are led by our Bishop uh, and Pastor Dr. Francis M. Kamau. Let's appreciate him. Thank you, Bishop, for watching and tuning in. And we have Brenda Okoth, uh, we have Jenny Karanja, Anthony Munua, Kanis Peter, Margaret McGee, uh, Steve Benaya, Maureen Kadiga, Joyce Wagaki, 
Shiko Getonga, Lillian Birungi, Charity Muirori, Sami Mokema, Joey, Joey Williams, and uh, special greetings to Stefan Orenge. And Stefan is uh, watching in Dubai at the Business Expo. Let's appreciate Stefan. We wish Stefan you well. And we also uh, greet Rose, uh, Rose Miner, who uh, works together with uh, Gladys at the camera. But she's not with us today, she's at work. So we greet you and we appreciate all uh, we appreciate all of you joining us on, on. Thank you. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Washira. Now, now, church, I want to invite you to be upstanding so that we can bless the offerings and release you as we wind up the service. Yeah, you can lift whatever you have brought to God as we speak a blessing upon your gift in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you today. Your people have come into your house, O oh God. Of prayer for all nations. You tell us your people not to appear before you empty handed. And we have separated out of what you have blessed us with, O oh God. Something to bless your work. There are those who are bringing their tithes, O oh God. Some they are sacrifices, my Father. Others, it could be a thanksgiving offering, my God. Whatever kind of gift that your people have separated. Today, you speak, we command a blessing upon it, O God. In the name of Jesus. You are the God who gives seed to the sower. And provide bread for the eater. As your people go out this rest of the week, O God. We pray that you may multiply their store of seed and bread over. in the name of Jesus. And we pray for someone, oh God, who might not be having some substance to give today. You know their hearts, Father. And we pray, oh God, open a door for them, Jehovah, that they may be able, oh God, to have their provisions, oh God, so that their, their needs can be met. And then they can also go ahead to meet the needs of the work of God. In the name of Jesus. We speak a blessing upon your people. As we go out this rest of the week, we speak open doors, oh God. We speak your protection, my Father. We speak your blessings upon your people, my Father. We decree and we declare that any of our enemies who will rise against us, oh God, from one way, they will be defeated before us and they will be scattered in seven different directions. We speak protection upon your people. No arrow of the enemy will be able to find us, oh God. We bless those who are going to school. Be with all of us, dear Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Somebody shout amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now you are free to bring your offerings. Even as we share the words of the grace. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the presence of our Father forever and ever. Amen. 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 Bwana wewe ni mwema wewe ni mwema wewe ni mwema sema bwana bwana wewe ni mwema wewe ni mwema wewe ni mwema sema bwana 
Wewe ni wewe 